When did you right. start your content creation? Nearly three years ago now. Three years ago. Yeah, two and two and a half, two and a half, three. Years. Why did you start it? Um, so I was working. I actually started up a couple of my own businesses. I was doing really well for myself, um, and I started a job that I found out very intelligently how to earn quite a bit of money and work not so many hours. So I had time to invest. I went to Mexico to carry on working because I was working online. I was living a life. I was chilling. I'm talking uh, 19 years old and I'm already like, I've already feel like I've cracked the code. Mm. So instead of me subconsciously, I was like proper grafting it before that. So I just shortened my whole life into one. I was like, I've been grafting for three years. Now it's my time to work three hours and retire. And I'm like, wait, no, <laughs> you're 19, bro. Chill out. Uh, so I was working like three, four hours a day, living in Mexico, parties, whatever. I do what the fuck I want. And uh, then some people were recording content as well. So I was like, okay, let me drop in. I got the spare time, did it. Went well, obviously, because here we are today. And uh, it, it made sense, you know, I had the energy to implement onto, onto the camera. I was doing public interviews. I'm not essentially proud of the content I was doing originally. It was very cringy, like what was banging views. And then I found my niche. I ran it. It was amazing. And here we are. What was the journey like finding your niche? Because everyone that sort of does content creation, we did get a lot of questions about it. Like, how did you actually go about finding your niche? Because you've, you've turned yourself into a full brand. And I don't think someone can really do that by accident. No, I think you have to know like, what you're being doing. being successful before that as well. You obviously had, you, you knew something. <laughs> he knows yeah, a little something. Yeah. He does. <laughs> Playing chess in his free time, he knows something. <laughs> yeah, this is for you uh, as well, by the way. Oh, you, top man, cheers, bro. It's funny you say that. So, no, it, it was actually... Every bit of my content journey has, okay, no, the first bit of my content journey was, um, I don't believe in luck, was coincidental, fortunate, whatever you want to fucking say. So I made a video, which was a public interview, and I was spending a bit of time with this girl on the day, and we was just mad bouncing off each other, flirting, so we dropped in a, vid uh, in a video, asked her a couple of questions, and it just ended up with me kind of flirting and risen the fuck out of her. <laughs> <laughs> And then as TikTok does, when I pushed the video, I got 26 million views. And um, that was me labeled as, as the Riz God. So from then, I was like, okay, I'm going to change my style. And then what a lot of people do, a lot of creators will last one, not even a year. You'll see a lot of creators popping off at three months. If I ask you about some creators, you'll be like, oh, I remember that guy. He was blown off on TikTok at this. And then they're done. I've been popping off, like doing numbers for three years straight. There's not been a single week where I haven't banged over like millions of views in, in the three years. Um, and that's due to consistency. But also I understood when my content was going to start dropping off before it dropped off. I got the vibe and, and I always knew how to evolve and elevate my content in a, in a different way, in a refreshing way. Because there's only so, so many, so many, uh, only so many baddies that, that you can go and, you can yeah. go and chat to. So towards the end, it got a bit... But how did you know when this was going to happen? Was it like, was you looking at analytics? Was you, was, nah, was it just a feeling? Just, yeah, maybe it was just a feeling. And as well, you kind of have friends around you and, and you just get the vibe of everything. And the first thing is you, you can't be in denial. And this goes as a person, as well as a, a content creator. You've got to be realistic with yourself. Everyone's like, I've got this idea. It's amazing. It's going to do. And then it won't do amazing. And they're like, no, it's the best idea, bro. You can have a great idea and it might not do well. There's there's, there's ways, you know, this isn't about, it's not you against like someone. You have to work with the apps. You have to work with the algorithms to 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 do it. Because at the end of the day, it's a job for some people. Now, luckily I've made streams of incomes in other ways. However, for some people, content is their job and they're trying to like fight the apps. No, this is my content. It's going to bang. It's going to bang. And it doesn't because it's shit but they want to admit it because they're so proud and, and they love the content so much. You get attached. Yeah, you you got to be realistic with yourself. Mm. You've got to, you've got to know that even if you've got a great idea, that might be in your head and it might not be in someone else's. So I was very good with that and always kind of giving the, the people what they wanted. 